Tonight, a controversial anti-Trump painting is no longer hanging at the entrance of Southwind High School. That's thanks to a threatening phone call. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. I want you to take a look. The student artwork shows a taped, muzzled mouth of the president and the Statue of Liberty with her hands over her face as if she's ashamed. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broad is live at Southwind High School. Okay, Brad, tell us more about this threat. Well, Katina and Richard, an SCS spokesperson said authorities are investigating that threatening phone call made to Southwind's principal this morning. While the district says it supports the student's right for free speech, critics interpreted that artwork as hate speech. This is completely disgusting. This is unpatriotic. That's longtime Republican organizer Elaine Irvin reacting today to this student painting at Southwind High School. That's in a school that my tax dollars pay for. The artwork up since the 2016-2017 school year showed President Trump with his mouth taped and the Statue of Liberty covering her face. To me, that's that's pretty much vandalism on school property. In the past 24 hours, the painting drew strong reaction by some on social media. An SES leader said that frustration boiled over for one person in a threatening phone call this morning to Southwind's principal. A district spokesperson added, this decision was made in the interest of safety, which is always our top priority. We have reported the threat to the proper authorities, and it is currently under investigation. This is pure hate speech. And it should not be allowed. Charlotte Bergman, another prominent Memphis area Republican, saw the student painting last night and supported its removal today. And this definitely shows hatred toward the leader of our country. Now, SES leaders added this afternoon, they encourage students to express themselves through art and in any other peaceful manner. A longtime Memphis, Memphis civil libertarian told me this afternoon that the removal of this painting really shows that the threat of violence is an accepted response for speech someone may not like. Reporting live outside Southland High School, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.